Hi, in this video, we are going to see about how to install the latest MATLAB software in Windows operating system. And also, in the end of the video, I am going to say about a small tip or trick so that you can use this trial software even after the 30 days of trial period. So now let us drive into the video quickly. Hi, in this video, we are going to see about how to download and install the latest MATLAB software from the official website. So just go to any of your browser and type MATLAB. So you'll be getting this mathworks.com. So this is the official website of to download the MATLAB. So just open it. And also note that so this MATLAB can be installed in Windows, Linux or Mac OS. So here you can see the instructions of installing various platform. But in this video, we are going to see about installing it in Windows 10 or 11 only. So now after opening the mathworks.com website, it has for the location. So I have given as India. So it is navigated to in.mathworks.com. So here in the top of the page right side top you can see get matlab button so just click this get matlab button so it will be navigated for asking to sign in or create an account so as i don't have a account i'll create a new account so just click this create account menu so now it asks to enter your email id so just enter your email id don't give the same email id which i am going to give because everyone gets different license code so just enter your email id and then click next click continue anyway so now it is verifying and then it asks to create a password for your account so here you can see the password must contains 8 to 50 characters at least one uppercase letter at least one lowercase letter at least one number so make sure that your password will be matching this criteria after entering the password click next so now it verifies your email id so check your email id to enter the code so now we have received a code so just copy the code and paste it and then select this i accept the online service agreement and then click the next button so now for the first time it has to enter your first name enter your first name last name your location and which best describes you or your student or teacher researcher hobbyist engineer scientist in government engineer scientist in industry so whichever suits you you can select i'm selecting a student and next once after selecting the student it asks for the department so just enter your department just entering computer science and what describes your role or you were postdoctoral student student undergraduate or student uh, for preschool so whichever suits you you can just select it i'm just selecting postdoctoral and are you at least 13 years or older and click yes and then click the next now it asks for the location of the school or university in my case it is india and just enter your school or university i'm just entering as pondicherry university in my and then click the next button so now after entering all those credentials you can see this page and uh, here you can see the link uh, license use matlab online basic and 30 day matlab trial so if your if your organization or your college or university is already having a matlab license you can just click this or in case if you are going to use it only in online without installing in your pc you can use the second option and here you can see in this online option you can use up to 20 hours every month and this one is the 
option that we are going to select 30 day MATLAB trial unlimited use on desktop and online for the 30 days. So as we are going to install and use the MATLAB, we are going to select this third option. So just click the get trial. So now it has to enter your email ID and then the state city your zip code is this request on behalf of your faculty member or research advisor and year of graduation and uh, how will you use your trial for which purpose you are going to use for image deep learning or machine learning image processing so whichever you want that you can select let me select deep learning and machine learning and then click the submit button now you can see uh, welcome to your free trial of MATLAB so if you wanted to open an online you can select this button so as we are going to install it you need to select the right side button that is install MATLAB so just select this button so now you can see the latest MATLAB version as of now in today's date that is 7 1 2025 is or 2024b so you can see the link here so in case if you're seeing this video in future it may be a different version as of now this is the latest one so here it shows the uh, trial expired date also that is 6 february 2025 and uh, all other details now let us download it so now you need to click this download for windows if you click this button you can see other options of downloading in mac or Linux also in my case I'm just going to install in Windows so I'm just not going to select those option I'm just going to select this download for Windows so now I'm just saving it in the desktop now the download is completed you can see in the desktop which contains 220 MB so make sure that you have active internet connection to download it so now let me double click it to install it so now select run option so now it is extracting the files so kindly wait don't click any of the options after extraction of the file after few seconds or minutes according to your system resources it, you can see this window where it asks for the email id so just enter the email id whichever you have created for the account so now i have entered the my email id which i have created as created an account and then click the next button so now it asks for the password so give the password whichever you have created after that click sign in so now here it asks for the license agreement so just click yes and then select the next button so now here you can see the license so here you can see the license number the label and the use and option that is it is for the trial individual so then click the next button now you can confirm the username email id windows uh, username that is our system name and then click the next so now he asks for the select the destination folder the default will be c program files matlab or 2024b in case if you wanted to change this location you can just select the browse and you can select the location in my case i'm not going to change i'm just going to leave it as the default one and then click the next button so now we are in the important part that you need to select the product the first one that is matlab is already selected and now we need to select the other toolboxes which are required in case if you have not selected this toolbox so you can we have option of select adding the required toolbox after the installation also but i recommend to install it during the installation itself so that even if the trial has been expired you can use it in case the trial is expired you cannot install the required toolboxes so whatever the toolbox you required you can just select it in my case uh, uh, as we are developing few projects based on the 
toolboxes i'm just selecting those toolboxes i'm just showing you so now first one i'm going to select is computer vision toolbox so just uh, select the computer vision toolbox second is the deep learning toolbox and then image processing toolbox and third one is uh, statistics and machine learning toolbox so there are five toolbox to be installed i am just installing four toolbox and other toolbox i will show you after the installation how you can install the required toolbox after the installation so that i am just keeping this one as pending so now i have selected the required toolboxes so now you can see i have selected the required toolbox in case in your case if you wanted some other toolbox also you can select it so in my case i have selected the required toolboxes now i am just clicking the next button so if you wanted to add a shortcut you can just add a shortcut in the desktop select that option or else you leave it and then click the next button so now it confirms the selection whatever the thing that we have selected and you can see here the the space required so it requires around 6.23 gb so make sure that your system has the capacity because in case if you are not having the required file size so it will be terminated so the complete process will be mean so make sure that you have the exact location and then now click the begin installation button so now it takes some time according to your internet and the system processing speed so once after completion let us connect again now it took 20 minutes now you can see the download is complete and it is mentioned that performing post installation tasks so kindly wait for a few minutes now after some time you can see this installation complete message and click close so now we have successfully installed matlab or 2024b so in the desktop you can see the shortcut is created in case if it is not you can also search matlab or 2024b and also you can open it so now i'm just double clicking it so now it is opening for the first time so it takes some time so now you can see the matlab or 2024b has opened successfully so now let us test it by entering a sample code whether the installation is done correctly or not now let us uh, test this by executing it so just paste this code and click f5 to run it so now you can see it has plotted the sine wave and also you can see the operation has done successfully now uh, let us see how to install the required toolbox in case if you have already missed it during the installation as i said during the you can see that we have left one toolbox for sample i said you earlier so now let us install this one so in this way you can install other toolboxes also so now you you can you need to go to this add-ons menu so just click this get add-ons so once if you click this get add-ons menu so now it will open the add-on explorer window so now you can see the add-on explorer window so here you can just search for the add-on whichever you wanted So now you can see the add-on deep learning toolbox model for the AlexNet. If you wanted this toolbox to be installed, so just click it. So now here in the right side, you can see the install option. Just, just select install. So now it asks for the email ID, which you have given during the installation process. So just enter the email ID and the credentials of the password that you have created during the MathWorks registration. Now we enter your password and then click sign in. 
so this is the reason i said if you wanted to install the toolboxes you, you can install it during the installation itself because in case if you have forgotten and if the trial period is expired you cannot be able to install it because it's as for the login credentials so once if it is expired you cannot be able to install the required toolboxes so now it is preparing to install the add-on so this takes some time so kindly wait and make sure that you have active internet connection also so now you can confirm the selection and then click i accept button so now it is downloading the packages so now you can see the installation complete so now let me close this so in this way you can install the required toolboxes so i have shown you the sample so now we have all installed all the five toolboxes whichever i have shown so now in the add-ons menu you can just go to manage add-ons so where you can see what all the toolbox that is installed in your matlab so now the add-ons manager is open and now you can see the five toolboxes whichever we have installed is shown perfectly so now let me close it so now we have successfully installed the matlab and also the we have checked the execution and now we have also known how to install a toolbox by going into the add-on so now we are in the final part of the video so now let us see a small tip or trick how to use the matlab after the trial has been expired so now you can see if today's date is 7 1 2025 so it will expire on uh, 6 2 2025 so for example if you are having your exams on uh, april month or may month or june month so you cannot use it in, the, in that month so now in that case if you are not able to purchase the license key so you can purchase the license key also here uh, i'll just show you that option of how to purchase the license key from the official website so now if you go to the mathworks.com website so if you scroll down down you can see student software so just if you click this student software you can see the two options campus wide access and matlab and simulink student suit so in case if your college or university is already had purchased the matlab access and you can just go for this option so in case if you wanted to purchase by yourself if you're not having it so you can just click this buy now option and here uh, you can see you can purchase the student license matlab for uh, it is for 35 usd and for additional add-ons you need to pay 5 usd so you can select whichever add-ons you wanted and finally you can add to cart and you can purchase it so now in our case if you can't able to purchase the license so how can we use it so so here we have uh, given the date for example consider today it is uh, expired and it is already expired two or three months ago so now you can just small trick is you need to change the system date so just you can uh, right click and go to adjust date and time so here you can turn off this uh, set time automatically and you can change the date and time so for example today if it is uh, april and june for example if it is uh, may uh, if, if the time is already expired so you go, you should already note down the date when you have installed it so just you need to change the date to to particular date of the installation and you can change it and you can use it so it will be working and once after you are you have shown the project uh, output to your uh, guide or in a college again you can just uh, change the settings to automatic time zone so it will be changed so whenever you wanted to use your matlab after your xpd you can use this simple trick and you can use the matlab trial version so this is all about the installation of latest matlab or 2024 b video and thank you for watching